Hey, welcome to Beer Christianity. My name is Chanti. I'm Laura. And I'm Malke. Oh, Malke's not here because he sucks. <laughs> and he also may be moving house, so that's probably why. <laughs> no excuse. Uh, this is a special episode of Beer Christianity. It's a short one. Um, it's just coming to you from a very special march on an important day, or close to an important day. So uh, here's a little bit of us at the march. Okay, well, here we are. Hey, Laura. Hey. Uh, where are we? We are in London, and we are at uh, the Palestine Solidarity March. And the date is? October the 5th. Which means we are basically commemorating... A year since the October 7th attacks. And the genocide that started then. Yep, that's the one. And how's the vibe at the march? The vibe is good. We're with the Christian bloc. And we did a nice uh, prayer service uh, before the start of the march. And yeah, as all the marches I think I've been on, the vibe is very chill. You know, parents are here with their kids. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's good stuff. There's been a few counter protests along the way, but yeah. yeah, I mean, massively over outnumbered by people on the main protest, which is nice to see. So, yeah. yeah. Please give all you and we are uh, marching with a bunch of Christians who have banners and signs that say? Uh, Free Palestine, uh, ceasefire now. Uh, they've got Bible verses on some of them. I'm trying to find one now. Not by might does one prevail. Um, let justice roll down like waters. Um, seek peace and seek pursue peace it. And, yep. Yeah, it's all very good stuff. Yeah. A lot of nice people. And we got to speak to um, a lovely uh, vicar called Sam. Yeah. Um, who wrote a beautiful service, and um, you're going to hear from him now. Hi, uh, my name is Sam. I'm an organizer with Christians for Palestine and a priest in the Church of England. Um, what is uh, Christians for Palestine? Christians for Palestine is a grassroots movement of Christians um, who noticed that there were lots of Christians uh, marching on the marches, but they weren't necessarily marching together. So we're bringing together Christians of all different denominations to march together as a single voice, um, to have that visible Christian presence on national marches, on local demonstrations. Um, and we also do other things to um, help to mobilize Christians and put pressure on churches um, to act in solidarity with the people of Palestine. What kind of other things do you do? Uh, so we've done a little bit for the media um, in terms of um, putting pressure on the Archbishop to be better on these kind of things, a little bit of lobbying. We work closely alongside Sabil Kairos who do a lot more of that lobbying work um, and we really, really support what they do. Why is it important for Christians to be involved in this struggle? Um, we believe in a God of liberation, we believe in a God of justice. Uh, Jesus Christ was a friend of the oppressed who knew what it was to face um, occupation, uh, to face military occupation in his own time. And so as Christians, as followers of Christ, we need to be present in these struggles for liberation um, because uh, this is where God wants us to be. And finally, can you describe um, what we've just been a part of and how you feel about it? So today we've come together to march once again on the uh, national demonstration for Palestine and also for Lebanon. Um, and we've gathered uh, together in St Anselm and St Cecilia's Church um, and we're very grateful for their hospitality. Um, and we've um, gathered together to pray some prayers just so that as we come to this march, uh, we've, we've uh, met together in the presence of God and put all these things into the hand of God because we know that anything that we do is by the Spirit's power. That's Sam from Christians for Palestine, before which you heard Laura and me on the march. I, I wonder if, if you've never been to one of the marches, you may be thinking, well, you guys sound so cheerful. Isn't this supposed to be serious? Isn't this supposed to be horrific? Aren't you supposed to be angry or sad or something like that? And, and we are. And I think most of the people on the marches are. But there is just such an encouragement and a joy to be found in seeing so many people and it was a sea of people uh, just coming out and actually saying things that our government will not say that our media will not say calling a genocide a genocide calling injustice injustice naming reality correctly as Richard Raw would put it I I think it's an incredibly encouraging thing and it's why I love Christians for Palestine because as a Christian who cares about the struggle against apartheid, who cares about the struggle against occupation, who cares about the struggle against ethnocracy and 
and injustice everywhere, sometimes you can feel a little bit gaslit when it comes to Israel because so many churches are so Zionist. They're so pro-Israel no matter what. They're so uncurious about whether there is a difference between Israelites and the modern state of Israel. Or Israel? <laughs> Israel. Um, it's just nice to see Christians, smart Christians, compassionate Christians, diverse groups of Christians, old and young, the whole trip, just getting behind saying the truth, which is just the bare minimum of what we as the church should be doing, if we're honest. Um, I love how they're organizing. I love how they're bringing people together. The service that Sam led um, was very moving. Um, there were prayers. We're going to try and publish them. We're doing a, a, a magazine at some point. It's not a pure Christianity magazine. It's going to be called Shibboleth. But um, we're hoping to get those prayers in the magazine so that you can use them in your small group or in your church or just read them for yourself um, because they were good. And it was good to be at this march a year after the the horrors began. Well, almost a year after the horrors began. The horrors of October 7th, yes, and then the repeating and continuing horrors that Israel has visited on the Palestinian people and now on the Lebanese people. I, it, it's hard to find words. We don't have to find words except to say that we know that this is wrong, that our tax is paying for it, our government's giving cover to it, our media excusing or minimizing it is wrong. And history will look back on us and judge us if we don't say and do things now. And and God wants us to, right? He must. He cares about the weak and the broken. He cares about the oppressed. He wants to set the captives free. He wants to break every chain. And occupation is chains. Apartheid is chains. Uh, disproportionate and group punishment is chains. Uh, it needs to be broken. Um, so we hope that you join with Christians for Palestine and you pray. Um, there's a, a little prayer here. Uh, it says, Crucified and risen Savior, such horrors are beyond our comprehension. Yet you know both the darkness of the cross and the light of the resurrection. That violence would cease and peace would reign. We pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. That the mighty would be cast down and the oppressed lifted up, we pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. That justice and mercy would be seen in all the earth, we pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. It's a, It's been a dark year, but we do believe there is hope in God and we believe that God lifts up the lowly. We believe that God crushes injustice. Um, here's a prayer from a Palestinian um, that came through Sabil. Uh, God of humanity, we cannot imagine the despair and pain of the people of Gaza. Each day, day brings a war crime more horrific than the last, while those aiding the oppressor stand by, blind and deaf to the suffering. Holy Spirit, be with the martyrs and their families. Grant them the dignity that they did not find on this earth. Help us to never be immune to this suffering, but rather fill us with the depths of your goodness so that we may be movers of your peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Um, and thank you to Christians for Palestine for putting together that little um, prayer sheet that has both of those on them. So, yeah, anyway, there's not much more to say. Um, we just wanted to mark the, the time. We wanted to say that we mourn with the victims of October 7th. But we also wanted to acknowledge that this did not all start on October 7th, but it started with decades of persecution and brutalization and oppression. And while that does not justify harming civilians, neither does the harm of civilians justify the harming of countless more civilians. And just as the killings and the horror and the oppression and the racism that came before October 7th does not justify the harming and killing of civilians in that brutal way, so October 7th does not justify the brutality and the horror that has been meted out against Gaza and the West Bank and Lebanon now as well. 
more, far more than what happened on October 7th. Neither of these things are to be justified. I personally don't believe we can judge oppressed people who have been brutalized for how they respond. I don't think we get to dictate to them. But I think we can pray for peace, and I think we can recognize that atrocities do not justify further atrocities. So please continue to pray for Palestine. Please pray for Lebanon. Please pray that um, that our governments wake up, that our media wake up, that Israel changes its heart, um, and pray for mercy, and pray for peace with justice. Um, I'm going to give us back to me and Laura in a much more cheerful frame of mind now to kind of take us out of the the episode. Thanks for listening. You can, you know, well, I'll tell you all of that in a little bit. So listen to that, but go find Christians for Palestine on wherever you do your social media. I know they're on Instagram and they're great. Um, So go find them there. And yeah, here's, I'm going to hand you over to me and Laura. Oh, well, thank you so much for listening to Beer Christianity. You can find the rest of our stuff at, what is it again? beerchristianity.co.uk that is correct hey, I was about to say dot lips in dot, dot, no, no 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 don't go there don't go there it's a terrible website and then um, yeah you can get in touch with us on Insta and all the things and the email address is do you remember the email address beerchristianity at yahoo.co.uk dot com dot com fuck <laughs> uh, thanks so much for listening we've got a whole bunch of other cool episodes coming out we've got an episode with Brian McLaren coming out soon uh, we've got an episode with uh, David Benjamin Blower coming out it's all very exciting so do check it out and um, any final words uh, from today free Palestine free Lebanon and yeah yeah stop the bombing